Joseph Smith's Youngest Wife. Sources, Wikipedia, the Helen Mar Kimball article, and the wonderful website, Remembering the Wives of Joseph Smith, at wisesofjosephsmith.org. Helen Mar Kimball, born August 20th, 1828, married Joseph Smith, the first Mormon prophet, in May of 1843. Doing a quick comparison of these dates shows that Helen was 14 years old at the time of marriage. Joseph Smith was 37 years old, and this was a 23-year age difference. U.S. Census data, average age of first marriage for women. In 1840, the average age of first marriage for women was 21 to 22 years old. Here you can see that chart from 1790 up to the year 2000. Look at around 1840, it's about 21 to 22. Age difference from the norm. So Helen Mark Kimball was seven to eight years younger than most women marrying in her time. Characteristics of a 14-year-old girl in our time. Attending junior high school, going to dances with boys of the same age, hanging out with friends, listening to pop music, doing hair and nails, shopping at the mall, watching TV, and going to the movies. Current sex laws and ethics regarding a 14-year-old girl. Most parents would not want their 14-year-old to have sex with anyone, let alone an adult. It is generally recognized that most 14-year-olds are not ready to have sex or become pregnant. It is illegal for an adult man to have sex with a 14-year-old girl. States use different terms for this crime. Sexual, sexual assault, rape of a child, corruption of a minor, unlawful carnal knowledge. So why does Joseph Smith get a pass on this from the Mormon Church? Statement about Joseph Smith. Joseph was very free in his talk about his women. He told me one day of a certain girl and remarked, that she had given him more pleasure than any girl he had ever enjoyed. I told him it was horrible to talk like this. William Law, Joseph's close friend and Mormon First Counselor, Salt Lake Tribune, July 31, 1887. Why did Helen agree to marry an adult man 23 years her elder? Well, her father, Heber C. Kimball, was one of the twelve apostles of the Mormon Church at the time, and he made a deal with Joseph. The motivation was largely dynastic. He wished the Kimball family to be joined to the Smith family for time and all eternity. Heber regarded Joseph as a prophet, seer, and revelator, and to combine the two families was a great honor. Helen trusted her father as most 14-year-olds would. Why did Helen agree to marry an adult man 23 years her elder? Well, Joseph also promised Helen that the marriage would ensure her eternal salvation and that of her father's household. Being stalwart Mormons, such a promise carried great weight. The marriage was to be kept secret by both families. Helen continued to live with her parents. Helen was not allowed to attend Mormon dances and hang out with other peers her age. How did Helen feel about the arrangement? After her father introduced the idea, she said that it had a similar effect to a sudden shock of a small earthquake. Also, the first impulse was anger. I was painfully touched. I felt such a sense of personal injury and displeasure. I thought this altogether unworthy of my father and told him, no, I wouldn't. That, I think, is the appropriate reaction. Also, I felt to rebel. I hated polygamy with my heart. Also, no earthly inducement could be held forth to the women who entered this order. It was to be a life sacrifice. And finally, I thought through this life my time will be my own. The step I now am taking is for eternity alone. No one need be the wiser. Through time I shall be free. Eventually, Helen swallowed her pride and became a good Mormon, quote unquote, supporting the cause of polygamy. Joseph died, but Helen remained sealed to him for all eternity, along with his 33 other wives. Helen's dad, Heber C. Kimball, eventually took 39 wives, surpassing even Joseph Smith. 